Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. <laughs> One. Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. <laughs> they were my best friends <laughs> growing up. The black can. <laughs> I, I didn't want to leave the hotel. I was scared to leave Meanwhile, you think it smelled like straight horse booty, bro. <laughs> that was crazy. Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. Let's jump right into it. So we've officially made Bruce the third host. So uh, Bruce, you, say something. B- besides, Bork. besides look all, <laughs> all sad. Um, but uh, no, yeah. we really got to get him a bone, something to keep him occupied. I so mean, but if I we do that, then he will. Oh, like to to like chew on. Yeah. As he just chills there, yeah. instead of like uh, looking all just sad, chilling like, there. We're right. forcing him to be on camera or something like that. Dance, monkey. Dance for me. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man, bro. So that took us a minute. That was insane, man. So as we as we speak to you guys right now, we're uh, pre pre recording. Um. But uh, we couldn't even start because it's like we got the loopies. Eleven thirty four in the morning, and you know when you're tired, you start giggling a lot. So loopies. <laughs> this man just randomly starts laughing, and I start laughing. Oh, and, and then after that, I can't stop laughing. Maybe for the past. So he literally is like, "Don't look at the camera," and then I'll just say, and then we'll do the intro. So I'm like, "All right." All yeah, right. For the past like fifteen minutes, bro. What the frick? I know, right? And it's like, yeah, I know I'm tired. I just got out of work, but. <laughs> no, nah, that's crazy. You had to get the giggles out. But um yeah, man. Um So uh what's uh what's what's a, new? What's what's new with you, man? What's going on, man? Cuz you know, you haven't been you for the last You think so? I'm just trying to get I was just trying to get through that work week, bro. The last couple of days. Yeah, yeah dude, that shit was rough. No, nah, this this has been longer than that work week is yeah yeah it's been a minute like you haven't been jeff in a while well like on some space out shit mm-hmm. i don't know man yeah man my brain is on i don't know i don't know where i'd be at bro i don't know i hmm or you do you just don't know how to interpret it into words no i i would like if something was wrong i guess yeah i would say but i don't know like I don't feel bad. I just don't feel here. If you get what I'm saying. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Is it like when you're autopilot driving home? I've been autopilot a whole bunch. Like a fuck ton. A crap ton. has the I would say has the job become mundane in the sense of you, it's it's repetitive. You're just doing the same thing over and over again. It's yeah, like, I'm, I'm bored. It's like um, it's like the what do you call it? The gumball. I wake up. I go to work. I go. I go home. I eat. Oh, I sleep. Is- I shower. <laughs> I wake up. I go home. I go eat. I sleep. I sleep. I shower. And it's like that. That was ahead of its time because he literally made that man break down his reality and realize, damn, I'm doing the same shit over and over and over again. Yeah. I feel that, but it's like, what's the alternative, right? There always has to be a sacrifice, right? Yeah, it's a give and take. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, I could want to do whatever I want, but what have I put in? To do whatever I want. To do whatever I want, right. And most people (laughs) who do whatever they want have put in Mm -hmm. to do whatever they want. A lot. Whether it's their time, it's their money, it's their resources, their actual physical body. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, man. I just think this is just one of those phases 
that I'll just go through. You see what I'm saying? Are you waiting for a, like a eureka moment? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just kind of, if, like, once I set a goal and then once I kind of get into the flow of working towards or, like, a a, a, a routine, uh-huh. until something amazing happens, I'm just kind of, like, on autopilot doing that same thing until I get to, okay, this is the point where I wanted to get to. Or... Hey, something just happened. This changes everything. Mm. You see what I'm saying? And then I'm excited for those like, but it's not like, <clears throat> oh, like it's not a negative type of. Oh, I'm bored. It's mm. just, I don't know. It's just. Do you have an idea what of what that amazing or eureka might be? Like, are you are you trying to give yourself an idea, or you're you're kind of just? If it's something with like <laughs> go with the flow type shit. Right now, it's something go with the flow. But like, if it's something like with my art, right? I haven't made a piece since what January, and the recent one that I did was after what almost three months. Yeah, is it something that you like, or is it something that you just put together because you felt like you? Had oh no, to? no, I felt that. Yeah, I actually okay. stayed up like the whole. Yeah, because you hit me up at six a.m. Yep. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> but that's the thing, though. I feel like I work way better. During these hours. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just during the daytime, I'm occupied with, you know, physical labor and stuff like that. Yeah. So, like, I don't feel like I have that mental time to work. I got you. I'm more in tune with mental work than physical work. I I, got you. I'm... Physically capable of doing physical work, but you prefer. But my work brain your, will just you check prefer out. to work your mind right. more than you would your brain. right. My but my brain will just end up checking out. Mm. You see what I'm saying? I got you. <laughs> I get too zoned in because you you physically work all day, and then to come home after to try to go into the mental, it's it's already you're already exhausted. I'm exhausted. So all you want to do is rest. You right. don't want to do nothing. Even if I want to stay up, my body's going to just shut down. Down. It's because it's ready to go to sleep tired. to recover. Right. Yeah. Right. I got you. But if it's like prime example, right? Because we're pre-recording that frees up tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. You know what I'm saying? It's true. Yeah, that and makes then sense. My obligations don't come later. That day. day, yeah. So, like, for example, I could stay up tonight, you know, just kind of get in a vibe, listen to music, mm-hmm. da da da, just, you know, think of ideas. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Think of, you know, scenarios, think of plans of the future, you know, going. No, that makes sense. You know that what I'm saying? Sense. That's why, just for me, it I was just always a night person. Mm-hmm. My brain's way more active at night. I'm a morning person. You know what I'm saying? Which is why it's like, it still blows my mind how you guys could wake up so early. When it's like, I'm not waking up, I'm already awake. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I get it, man. I get it. But yeah, it's like, for for me, my mind is less active beca- at night more than it's so in the morning. Morning is where I'm trying to get everything done. And, right. and the more morning, the earlier I wake up, the more morning I have, if you understand what I'm saying. Right. So that's how I look at it. So some people try to some people try to catch up on the morning that they lost by staying up late. But I look at it as a negative compared to a positive. I feel that. I feel like mornings are wasted because <laughs> everyone's at work. Like nothing's happening in the morning but mm-hmm. work. Well, on off days. Oh yeah, I I guess. Yeah, yeah. I I think I'm looking at it that way. And the sense too is like, when we're financial, when we eventually become financially free, it's like, it's gonna be mornings for me. You see what I'm saying? Right. Because now I have more free time to do. Well, that's where that's when everything is working. Yeah. During those, like that's normal. Like, yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's when everything is working. But do you think that mindset's gonna shift when that happens for you, or are you still gonna do the night thing? Um, I feel like if we ever went into an economy that ran twenty four seven, or like the stock market doesn't have to close at mm-hmm. like 
what, 5, 6 p.m. every day? Yeah, 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 yeah. You see what I'm saying? And it's just kind of going 24-7 and like a connected whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just hypothetically spitballing. You see what I'm saying? Then there would be an environment where people can work at night like that. You see what I'm saying? Not just in terms of like physical labor, like working at night (laughs) at a warehouse or security guard. I mean, like literally, like working at night. You see what I'm saying? Banking at night. Ah, you know. Okay, I see what you're saying. You know, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't know, but we're stuck on this nine to five. This is when work should be done. Mm-hmm. When I feel like it should be spread out. You see what I'm saying? Where everyone can work when they want, but mm-hmm. the work is always being done. I got you. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. You see what I'm saying? saying? There's no deadlines There's or no, s- right. specific days. Because like, the work is always being done. Being done, yes. You'll have the people who are morning people, they'll work during the day, mm-hmm. and then the night people come in and they'll work. do the same work. Got you. You see what I'm saying? So that building will be occupied. 24-7. 24-7. That makes sense. And then you can choose whatever work style works for you. So you're talking about in the sense of pe- people that are early worms- um, or early birds, they'll do what they want to do in the morning, and then go right. at night to work. Yeah, and then, exactly. or and then when the people uh, that um, Who, want to go out at night, uh-huh. they'll work early in the morning so they right. can enjoy the rest of the night. Okay, right. I see what you're saying. You feel me? I got you what you're saying. And it doesn't have to be that same consistent thing. You could do like if you want to do a 24 or like, you know, what I'm saying as a, as a, the schedule range is 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. You can work whatever range within those 24 hours. Because that's all you got in the right. entire day. In the entire day. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So however you want to work those 24 hours is up to you. But the work is going to be done. Yeah. But we don't live in a world like that. No, 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 we don't. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything is 9 to 5. Yeah, yeah. We, open nine, at 9. 9, nine to 5, we get off. Yep. Banks open at 9. Close at 5. five. Doctor's office opens at 9. Close that five. Close that five. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just how everything works. You okay. could even have like night school or some shit like that. Kids who want to go to school that night. Night teachers. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you yeah. see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe when, I'm. Maybe I'm. When you, when you dissect the concept like that and, and I'm thinking about it, it's like, yeah, that is a weird thing. But it's like if you. Um, if we could just work whenever we wanted. Want, the job will still get done. The and job there's will no still get done. Stuff like right. That. No, I get it. I get it. Right. You see what I'm saying? You Let's say you're part of a team, right? But, okay, you're part of a department, but the bar, the department has a morning team and a night team. Mm-hmm. So it's the it's always consistent. It's, right. It's never ending. Right. I or you could right. have a morning team, a transition team, and a night team. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, it's true because you can, you can literally have – uh, six in the morning to five in the afternoon. Five in the afternoon to ten at night. Ten at night to seven a.m. That's eight hour right. in, in, in increments. Like, so like, it's constantly running. It's constantly running. Yeah. It's like when I worked in seafood. Yeah, it was a morning, a mid, and, then, and a close. And a close. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. So there was always constantly. So there was always continuity mm-hmm. in how the department was being run. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know, but everything's nine to five. You know, you could have a morning manager, a morning store manager, a night store manager. Yeah, but they ain't going to do that. Because I know we did morning team leader and nighttime team leader. Right. So the morning one would work all the high velocity trucks. And, right. of course, I was the nighttime, so I would work all the LV trucks. So we they would never mm-hmm. actually see it. It would just be done the next day they come in. I don't know. They just have to convert the entire world to 24-7. Yeah, like everything that. would have to be, but who's losing though? Who's really losing? No, because you're still gonna get your days off. You're, you're still gonna you're, get your you're, days you're off. You're still gonna get your vacation. You you're can work on. whenever you want. Yep. Who's really losing? Nobody. It's not like anybody else is going to be. But I'm guessing that's a crazy shouldering that insane workload. You know I guess that's saying? a crazy concept to introduce to people because they're going to think right. it's a 24-7 thing. Right. But if you break it down like you're doing right now, it's going to be completely different. But nobody's going to look at it that way. You see what I'm saying? I feel that. It's like, it's like when uh, the, the whole pilot program for the um, get, get three days off, work four days. 
people don't look at it as, oh, my God, I have three days. They look at it as, oh, my God, I don't want to work 12 hours. That's wild. You see what I'm saying? Right. Or I don't want to work um, 10 hours for four days to make 40. I, I, I'm happy with my eight and five days. And it's like, bro, that's insane. Ooh. For literally two more hours, you'll get an, an entire 24 hours off. You see what I'm saying? That's wild. Yeah. So it, it yeah. that's it, that's why I like the way my shits. I mean, structure. yeah, that, but that's what I'm saying. So it it's like works. for two more hours, you'll get an entire 24 hours off. Right. Instead of working five days, you'll work four days and you'll have three days off. And then you'll actually be able to do what you want to do, right. especially if you want it back to back to right. back. Because you're always going to have somebody that doesn't want all their days off together. They mm-hmm. want them spread apart. Mm-hmm. Some people like it together back to back, but some people like it spread yeah, apart. I do because my, I do my back to back. Yeah. Some people like it spread apart because it feels like... Um, they have more days off. Like, let's say I work Monday, I'm off Tuesday. I work Wednesday, I'm off Thursday. I'm off Friday, right. I work, I'm off Saturday. That, to me, will feel... They get that mini break. In exactly. Between. So it's I like, oh, that. man, I'm going to bust my ass today, but then I don't have to come into work tomorrow. But then I'm going to bust my ass the next day, but I don't have to come and work the next day after that. For but like two my... days after that. Exactly. After that. That's, that's how I look at it. But a lot of people are like, they don't look at that concept. They look at the, mm-hmm. I already work eight. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. Adding two more hours is even worse. You see what I'm saying? So, that. but for me, it's like I work nine to ten hours a day. But in my mind, I'm so used to it that if they if they said, "Yo, we're starting this tomorrow," sign me up. Right. Because that's something that's already normal right. to me. I feel so, that. but it, it's just a crazy concept that people don't really think about uh, the little things or the things that will give them more time outside of work because they always talk about work life balance, mm-hmm. but that's not a real thing if you're always on at work or or you leave one job and then you jump into another it's so surprising to me um how many people i at my job has two jobs like they right. n- never yeah i know a lot of folks at my never have my a job day off and i'm like bro jobs. that's insane and then when i came up to them i'm like well i don't have two jobs and I'm an assistant. They're like, what? You don't have two jobs? I'm like, yeah, I'm able to maintain, pay my bills, all that stuff like that. But I think right. it's because I don't have kids either or a girlfriend right. or a wife. Right. But again, too, at the same time, I know how to manage money well. I feel that. So it's it's just. And you can make necessary. Exactly. Sacrifices. Sacrifices. So it's just, it's, just, um, it's just a crazy concept to them that I don't have two jobs. But I know a lot of assistants that have two jobs. Have two jobs. Half of them are assistants, half of them, and then also working at Nabisco, or half of them are also working for a wine vendor or mm-hmm. working for a beer company. And it's like, fuck. Hey, that's where we at now, bro. Yeah, man. That's the world we live in now. Mm. So it's it's, it's just um it's just a crazy it's just a crazy concept to look at. I think um the way you the way and and this question stemmed from me asking. If you had more financial freedom, would you transition from night to morning? And then that's when you suggested the whole 24-7 concept, Mm -hmm. which I understand what you mean by that. Um, Because sometimes your best ideas do come at night and not in the morning. So I I get that. Um, Of course, you'd be up in the morning, but at the same time, you don't even have to worry about or going to work the next day because you're in a good position. You're in a good spot. So I get what you're saying by that. So, um, no, that's kind of the question I just wanted to ask you. Cause like I said, um, you've been off for the last couple of weeks and I was just trying to, you just needed to catch up. So yeah, man, I just had to, man, what the, what was I thinking about? Holy crap. That's the thing. That's what I wanted to ask you. What? I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't bad though. Like I, I didn't have any bad thoughts. Mm-hmm. Like I wasn't like sad or anything. Like I just, I don't know. Maybe I was just so tired. I don't know. You think it was just a? I need a, I need a nap and then I'm back. But you woke up early today. Even, even. But that's the thing. That's because like my body's like, hey, wake up. Yeah. Even though like I feel like absolute shit, you know, waking up early every day like that Mm -hmm. it's just naturally i i'll just wake up yeah you see what i'm saying like i'll I'll, i don't know if you get what i'm saying no no no, i get it because your your mindset is already oh i got work today so it's like right it's an autopilot thing yeah it's not like oh hey it's time for me to get up i'm excited to you know do what i need to do you know it's 
oh, okay, it's that time. I should probably get up. Yeah, I got you. You know? Like, it's a different attitude towards it. But it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I get to work. I do the job. You know, I talk to who I talk to in the morning. And Uh then the rest of the day is just kind of me. By yourself. By myself. You don't get the, you don't find that, uh, um, cause I know you said the beginning you're, it was fun. <laughs> I know you say you're okay with being alone, but we're human beings, man. We're no, not, I feel that. We're not made to be alone. In the beginning it was fun, but like now it's just like, there's so much, uh, music you can listen to. Right. Now, like I'm getting to the point where I don't even play any music. I'll just drive in silence. Damn, autopilot Dog, in silence, bro. I'll be driving in silence. You man. what? I'm like, this music's pissing me off, bro. I don't really? want to hear nothing. Like, I don't want to hear nothing. Mm. Yeah. Because you're so used to, like, and and like you said, like you were saying, too, like, you're interacting with people less. Uh-huh. So it's like, now for you to interact with somebody, it's a, it's a, what, is it, is it work or is it, how, how, what is it for you? What is it like to interact with people? Mm-hmm. Besides your friends, oh, besides my yes, friends? because you've been, you've been, when you used to work at Publix, you've been around people your entire life. So you're constantly, whether it be in college, or um, like I said, Publix, you're always interacting with somebody or outside of work. Where like you were giving me the example of when we played football mm-hmm. during the holidays with uh, one of the Publix mm-hmm. teams. It, it's it's like you're constantly interacting with people, but then you go from that to isolation. Like, how's that? I don't think I'll ever lose my ability to interact with people mm-hmm. because, like, as shitty as it sounds, like, I'm really great at masking. Yeah. So it's like I've never no, had I've, that. No, I feel it. I feel it. You know what I'm saying? Because with FedEx and US, USPS and... um. UPS, mm-hmm. they always come inside the store, talk to our receiver, talk to me, uh, scan the thing, chop it up. Right. So they get out their truck and have right. conversations. You, you're, it's literally beep the phone, take a picture, and walk away. Yeah, and that's for ten hours a day. I feel that. That's nuts. I feel that. Right, because the way their whole setup is, it's completely different. Yes, they actually have to go inside. Have to get a signature. Right. What is your last name? And their their stops, their routes aren't like stop heavy. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like for them, it's like one stop every. You know what I'm saying? You're probably getting what eighty stops in a day. We would have to ask. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'd have to ask. I'd have to ask. But yeah, man, I I can I can understand. Like I'm not gonna say I'm above. You know, like feeling isolated and mm-hmm. shit like that um because it's true you do start to feel isolated you know what i'm saying you do start you to think that's isolated. why a lot of people don't stay at the job for more than six um, months 90 days to six months no i think in the beginning they think it's one thing mm-hmm. and then they see how physically demanding and tasking is yeah yeah and then it's like it scares them so they they're like i don't think i could wake up and do this Every day. Right. Oh, it's a lot. That's a very... Oh, I know. It's a big mental burden. Uh, You know what I'm saying? But, like, this isn't the biggest mental burden I've had to deal with. So, like, this wasn't... My question to you is, not not that you have a timeline, but, like, how long were you going to do this? Me? Get up every single day and and, and mentally exhaust your body because you're constantly running. Oh right. You see what I'm saying? It's not like it's not like you go to the gym for two hours and then you rest the rest of the day and you eat healthy mm-hmm. and you go to work or enjoy shit with your friends mm-hmm. and all that stuff like that. It's literally I'm running for ten hours for four <laughs> days for four forty hours for four Damn. It's nuts. That's what I'm saying. I'm running it's ten nuts. hours a day for four days straight, forty hours a week. And I get it, you get the three days off, but again, now I don't it's like, feel like well, it's like um they always say once your body hits two and a half hours, you're not doing anything. You're, you're not doing shit. You're not doing shit. Right. You're just beating your body up. Exactly. But right. that's what I'm saying. And that's you're why I'm asking you like degenerating your your cells. Faster. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's probably what it is. I think my brain's already out the door. 
Gotcha. I think that's what it is. Because you did say. Yeah. Yeah, the timeline. Uh huh. And I'm approaching it. I thought you passed it. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh-uh. September will be. Two. Right. I got you. Mm-hmm. No, that makes sense. I feel it. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Because that usually happens to me. That happened with my other jobs. And that's why. Yeah. And that's why it's. Your goal is to literally be, again, financially free so you can be able to do Mm -hmm. anything and love what you're doing without any limits. Right. I feel right. You know, but hey. (laughs) You what? Hey, it's nothing like, I don't know, like, I don't. I don't hate anything. Like, no, I got you, man. No, I was like I said, yeah. I was just trying to figure out. Like, no, I feel, I feel it. That's why I said take a man, take a take a All right. day off to figure yourself out. Cause like, if I was spiraling, you already know. Like, mm-hmm. it wouldn't have been this. It would have been complete. Yeah, complete dysfunction. I got you. Yeah. No, it's just I don't know. I'm just thinking ahead. Okay, man. Yeah, Thinking man. Ahead. As long as you got a game plan and, mm-hmm. and where you want to go and what you want to what mm-hmm. you want to do, I'll uh, support you in uh, doing it, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, what did you end up uh, doing today? I went on a drive. Went out with mom today. Clear your head, or mom was like talking your ear. Oh no, it was super. Tr- well, I took her to get her time. <laughs> I knew she was gonna do that to you because she never wants to go alone. Like, oh, she's like a man. big. She's like a big kid. Well, she was like, like a big I, kid. I, I no, because she told me she was going Monday by herself. Well, she couldn't because no, like, I told her to take the cut the tire, the tape off the tires, and then lift them in the car one by one. That's the thing, she couldn't. The tires were too heavy for, her. so she was waiting for me to have the day off so I could lift the tires for. Her. So I loaded all four tires into the. So she got all four of them changed. Uh huh. Okay, so so she used the extra ones. Yeah, she kept the two. The, the oh yeah, for sure. I those were like thing. fairly new. She just didn't expect them to send her two extra. But that's what I'm saying. Tires. That that was awesome of uh, Amazon, by the way. That's fire. Well, no, they actually do be doing that. Sometimes, like I'll be delivering stuff, and then someone will get like two. You got two microwaves. Some lady was like, "Why do I need two microwaves?" <laughs> like I don't know, double the fucking ramen. I yep, don't know, man. Do something. I don't know. Give the other one away. <laughs> yeah, I loaded two microwaves on her front deck, and she's like, there's no way that they charge me for this. I was like, go to your thing. Oh, so you helped her out yeah, and showed her and then they did. Nope. She only ordered one, but they sent two. Two. They were probably just trying to get rid of it. I think they'd be having, like, sweepstakes. And shit. I think they, they no, they got one more left, and it's like either throw Fuck it away it, give or, it give, it. yeah, give <laughs> it away. Figure it out. I don't want to give it to somebody. I'm dead. Say, fuck it, give it away. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, yeah. So, where'd uh, where'd you guys end up? Yeah. Going? So we just kind of went on a little journey. Went to the new park uh, that they finished. Well, not really finished. Well, most of the expansion that they finished that's yeah. available to the public. Super cool. They're about to start that new um, park and ride bus loop, I guess. So you can pull up to the park. Park your car and take the bus into town or all over. Oh, that's cool. All over Lehigh and stuff like that. They're so. really trying to turn this place into a city, huh? I don't know. It's going to be a minute before it's a city. Yeah, that's true. Like, what do we really have? They're trying to get their money's worth. Uh, actually, we do kind of have a good amount of stuff. I'm not even going to lie. Don't we? Uh, nope, we don't really have any office. No, not oh, yet. Shit, I yeah. think Aren't they working on that? Yeah. yeah. Um, that's near, further up off of Milwaukee. See, that's the thing too. Cape Coral population is at two hundred and sixteen thousand, and they're a city. We're at two twenty six, and we're still not. Well, we always have the opportunity to vote, but they just keep they rejecting it. Yeah, yeah, more money. Well, yeah, that's gonna that's your taxes, sir. No, no, more money. Are you ready for that? Well, I wouldn't have a choice regardless. I know, but are you ready for that? So now you're going to need city water. You're going to need police. You're going to need 
What else? Uh, well, I guess Lee County provides the whole trash and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, that's that. Yeah. Um, so. But yeah, so no, I feel it. I feel you it. Know? It's a it's a give and take. It's, mm-hmm. You're not ever going to have. Yeah, your your taxes. Are everything right. that you want. Insane, and you're gonna have so many ordinances. You're gonna become another HOA like Ape. You're gonna become another like HOA Naples like too. Ape. Yeah, and that's usually what happens. Yeah, we, you know, it's gonna be the people who are more active, which are gonna be the elderly, mm-hmm. in deciding what the laws and the rules are. Yeah, that's you true. Know what I'm saying that's true. So, but uh, go ahead. You gotta finish up with your. Uh, oh USA. yeah. Um. So we checked that out. And then we drove all the way out to Corkscrew to see that new Publix that you. Uh, oh, that that we were at, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. How well, how was it, man? It is there is anything else open? Because I know they said that Dunkin' Donuts was. Uh, yeah, Dunkin' Donuts is coming soon. Okay, so it's not open yet. They have a whole bunch of other things. They have a nail and spa or nail spa. Oh, so somebody already bought that. Yeah, okay. I think most of the lots were already sold. Okay, that's good because yeah. you know that's gonna they're already. They're they're already building the second gated community on the right hand side, mm-hmm. and then they're going to build one right in front of them. They have an open house. I wanted to on the, oh uh, in the new gated community the Ver, 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 Verdana 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 yeah they just be making, making up shit. They just be English. That's crazy. English, do you speak it? That's crazy. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. And so we did that. And then uh, we went all the way out to Alico because mm-hmm. uh, we, uh, I had to look on the map to see where they were going to be starting that connect from Alico to 82. So that's going to be super interesting. And have they broken ground or they haven't touched They already broke ground. Okay. And she saw all the new office buildings that they were building mm-hmm. on Treeline and Alico. She was shocked. Uh, what else? Oh, the ones on uh, uh, where um, the airport, the airport of Twin Peaks, yep. and that plaza. Okay, yep, Wayfair yep. and all that. Mm-hmm. I got you. Yeah, yeah, I saw that too. That was new. That was new. All that's new. Yeah, they 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 build that shit like China, bro. <laughs> what you what? You never seen them build a whole bridge in like three days? It's crazy because all their buildings are just like connect, and then they just drill them. But they be paper mache as fuck though. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm not gonna say that. That's where I, that's where I'm in that discussion. But uh, you don't remember Chinese drywall? Yeah. Yeah, you remember you that? You what? When it made everyone's house smell like what sulfur and eggs and fart, and it was uh uh rusting or not even rusting. It was like doing something to people's pipes, like copper pipes. Yeah, yeah, it was messing yeah. them up. Yeah. And it was giving people like these weird respiratory uh, 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 infections, infections and stuff. Oh, nah, 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 nah. We don't, yeah. Nah, we don't do that. And after that, we went uh, shopping, bought some ingredients, and make the big made a big ass pot of chili. Yeah, I saw it. I saw. It. I can't. I can't wait to eat some tomorrow because uh, you know. You could have ate it tonight. I told you it was like good chili. Yeah, it's kind of late, so I just had cereal. Jeff, you can eat chili at midnight. I feel like that's doable. Who doesn't eat chili at midnight? This guy. You're old. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Ah uh, shit! Dude. Hell yeah, man! Where's the, the Where's the youthful spirit? Oh, uh, it's not there. Like, what the fuck? It's not there. Let's so. just break the rules one time. Let's yeah. eat chili at midnight. Let me stop working, and then we'll go from there. Let's eat chili at midnight, Jeff. Mm. Mm. Probably do it after the stream, then. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. You don't got to get a lot. Just get a little bowl. Ah, I should have made cornbread. <laughs> this man. Dog. Do we have cornbread mix? You what? We got uh, lobster. We got pancake bi- We got lobster biscuits. Lobster. You think lobster biscuits and? Bruh, anything will go good with chili. Lobster biscuits and chili. Hell yeah. It sounds right. Yeah, it does. Because it is. Mm. That sounds good. That sounds good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. We can do that tomorrow. This man. You want to do that tonight? Yes. Bro. That's the point of breaking the rules, Jeff. 
It's twelve oh seven. So we ain't young. What you talking about? Oh man, I'm a hip. Listen here, whippersnapper. I'm a hip. I'm cool. Them hippy dippies. <laughs> you one of them hippy dippy fellas. <laughs> oh man, look at my boy. Oh. He knew exactly who I was talking about. Yeah, he 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 was about to say something. Man, uh-huh. he knew exactly. He was he looked passed out over. Bruce the dog. Yeah, he's the third host. How you, doing, <laughs> you think we should get him a mic? What do you think he'll say? No, he's not gonna <laughs> say anything. You know what he's gonna do? He's gonna do that annoying ass breathe, <sighs> right on the fucking mic. Right, right, Bruce. Every single time. Every time Bruce uh, comes to lay on the couch, uh-huh. <sighs> uh, I'm well, like, Duh. well, fun fun fact because we found out that. Uh, what do they call Am them? Staffs. Staffies. They call them staffies. Don't, don't say staffies. Just say Am. They call them staffies. Please just say the in, the the TikTok. No. The youngins. Jeff, I'm muting your mic. <laughs> I'm censoring this. Uh man. So on TikTok, the staff Staffshire. No, Staffshire. Stanford. Stanford Staffshire. <laughs> Staffshire Stanford. The Stanford. The dog. The dogs. So apparently they they call them lap dogs because they are um, ain't nothing lap about that dog. No, no, the <laughs> like the other term, the other term lap, not like a lap dog, but lap dog in the sense of they're always on your lap because they like hugs, cuddles, Why? all that stuff. Why? does this big ass thing I that he can just prance on my? That's what they love. Like they're they're even showing you course. examples. They're they're even showing you examples of videos of this is what happens when you lay on the couch in your covers. Your Staffshire ends up getting it under the covers with you, or literally burying their head in the corner of the couch because they love cuddling, affection, all that stuff like that. Which is why they'll put their ears he loves back. Inflicting pain on my spleen, yes, and my ribs. For me, it's my balls. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> you what? Now that's his favorite. Yeah, what, bro? Every time he jumps off the what? chair, he like pushes against you, and I'm like, bro. Or he- or if he's laid the other way and his feet are near you, bah, he, he just oh, randomly he'll just kick. He just, when he's sleeping, he's like, yep. bah. he'll he'll just kick the fuck out of your balls, yep. bro. Oh my goodness. But no, no. So the that breed, they love affection and all that stuff like that. So uh, for him, he it doesn't matter where we are on the couch. He will jump in and bury himself in because he needs to be under our skin. So I want to be under your I skin. I want to be under your skin. So it's so funny. So every time somebody meets him or when we have an interview or somebody meets him and he comes in and he's like raw, 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 his deep bark as soon as we sit down and start talking or anything like that he's he becomes a softy so it's like him just trying to warn us that there's somebody here after that if we're comfortable with that said person then he's comfortable with that said person and i've noticed that but that's just the type of dog they are that's why he's so chill is he though? No, he is. He's super chill. He's super chill, but he's super energetic, especially for a nine-year-old. He really is nine. Yep, turning ten this year. That's crazy. That is crazy. Yes, sir. Bruce, one day you got to tell your story, bro. Yep. We'll come through with the slideshows because we were there. Well, yeah, because he has a he has a lot of uh, mental trauma. Every time I, you touch the top of his his paw, he jerks it back. So I don't get that. Is it because he's like, well, every time like like it's like a soft touch. It's not even like a oh I'm gripping it. It's mm-hmm. literally like a soft touch on the back of his paw, and then he jerks it back like. What's the other thing? Like uh, um, when you do that. Oh yeah, yeah. Like when I do the the, the claw with my hand, the claw. He starts barking. He or when we when we when we tell him the um when we say the the car word. He'll jump in the car, be all happy and prancy, but as soon as we start driving, he freaks out. Start shedding all over the yep, freaking. Like he sheds so bad. Jeez. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, he'll freak out and then he'll he'll want to get out the car. And then another thing is when I tell him to go shower, he'll shake really bad. Like he, like he, even though he doesn't like want he'll, to, he'll he'll oh, follow. The, yeah, he'll do the it. Command. Yeah, like I'll say, Bruce, I'll say, Bruce, get in the tub. He'll get in the tub, 
but he's sitting there shaking like violently, like <laughs> just oh, violently, like <laughs> saying, oh, like you what, bro? Like so, oh, yeah, the bro, bro, bro. <laughs> like bro, you. I'm just bathing you with <laughs> lavender soap. Oh man, <laughs> what is the deal? And so I don't know what happened to him before we met him, but he has a lot of trauma in certain areas. But other than that, he's a good dog. He listens. He'll hold. He, he will. Uh, wait, he will hit the door for us to let him not out mm-hmm. and certain things like that. Um, he'll let us know. Yeah, he lets us know. Or he'll start licking the bowl. <clears throat> oh, yeah, when he's thirsty, he'll lick the bowl. He'll lick the bowl. Or if we don't pay attention to him, he'll do that weird yawn thing. That... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you man. what? People are like, bro, that doesn't sound like a dog. Oh, man. Hey, he makes that noise. That's yeah. his noise. Yeah. <laughs> But it's like it's like certain things like that. But um, uh, Bruce is very chill and cool, so I ne- I don't have an issue with him. So we decided to make him the third host of the podcast. You know, he doesn't say nothing much. He just chills he just on his chills and chills on his bed. But he's a he's a big contribution to the show. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Where are we at? Okay. But um, <laughs> no, nah, man. Um. Anything else happened today? Um, what happened? I got home, mm-hmm. and then I ate chili, and then you got home, <laughs> and then I ate cereal, and then you ate cereal. Yeah, and here we are. Okay, all right, man. I mean, nothing crazy happened with me. No. Nah. Besides, um, crackheads have been stealing. Have the numbers been increasing? Have you been seeing more crackheads? Uh, no, I think those are just the ones that are coming back from after the hurricane. So they lost their homes. Of course, the county's going to fix it because they're... So they're just temporarily homeless. Yeah, because remember, most of them are uh, PDFs and um, offenders. So... Um, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, but that's... How, the, like... How... That's the Once only. you do one of those things, like, the trajectory is just... Downhill, downhill. But that's the only spot they can put them because it's nowhere near school. You see what I'm saying? That's crazy. It's nowhere near school, right? Because so. you can't be near children. You can't be near, like that's that's just your stain for life. Yeah, unless they decide to demolish that building and then create like a uh, hotel or something like that for people to stay because PDF it's, hotel. No, no, just a regular hotel because oh. it's literally you go under the bridge and there's a Fort Myers Beach, so that will be more convenient for people who are. Because, you know, sometimes we do the boat race every year or they do events. Yo, like yeah. That. Hey, we got to do that. We got to go to one of them. Yeah, boat just to see it. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. So if they do one of those every year, then, yeah, definitely. Then they can um, um, stay at the hotel. But other than that, unless they get rid of those apartments across the street or um, decide to kick all those tenants out and put them somewhere else, it's going to it's going to continue to. Um, have those PD- foster you foster those PDFs and offenders. So, um, uh, yeah, man. But um, other than that, the only thing that that I would say that new was I had to train a new associate tonight. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's cool. So starting, she started fresh. Left New York City. Wants wants to move up. All that stuff like that. So it was kind of just teaching her the basics, like bales Mm -hmm. stack down stacking a truck all that stuff like that but um uh, she looks like she has potential so hopefully if they don't discourage her yeah that well she has um she has robert and myself and abby so you know you know how fun we are right as managers we'll we'll show her how the proper way to do it but at the same time we'll have fun doing it right because work is not supposed to be just work so, but every every time we get um every time we get a new associate, the first thing they say is, "I can tell I'm gonna like you here because how y- your personalities are." So she's met Robert, she's met me, she's met Abby. We're good. So we just gotta train her right because she wants to move up, she wants to reestablish herself down here, and then and then go forward from there. But uh, other than that, it was nothing nothing else too too crazy, man. I mean, it was like a oh yeah yeah I was uh, talking about the crackheads. Um, <laughs> So apparently, um, they they keep going in our back dock and stealing things from the back dock, like crates. No, not just cr- no th- things that they can use or recycle. 
Oh, pallets. Yeah, and... yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. So what we yeah. have to what we have to keep doing is uh, checking the cameras, and if we can get them trespassed, then we should be good. But it's literally any anything metal, anything plastic, anything that can be recycled, just to get their next fix. That will take it, and then we're just literally recording them doing it, and they wait till like two or three o'clock in the morning. So now we can literally leave, leave nothing outside because of that. So. So, like, what do they use it for? Uh, you sell it to the recycling place and you get money. And when you get money, what do you do? You go buy drugs. You go buy drugs. And, uh, what's the cheapest drug now? Fentanyl. I feel it. Yeah, so. I feel it. That's what they're doing. So Like, I would love to. Where do they sell it? Across the street where would, the PDFs live. I would love to believe in the good in all of them be like, oh, maybe they're selling it to make money to get themselves out of poverty. But no, no, nope. But uh, yeah, no. Other than that, that's all I got, man. I, it's nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, ha- happened with me this week. It was more of a, uh, it was more of a. Well, chill. it's been more of a chill the first week. day of the week. Yeah, true. But it, for me, it's been bleeding. And I, I had Saturday off, and. uh I uh, caught up on. I finally watched uh, Rebel Moon. First half was. Oh yeah, uh, dude! I've been hearing like first half was good. J.J. Abram. Taking, no, not J.J. J., uh, uh, Zack Snyder. Yeah. Uh, it's taking L's, bro. He's taking L's on? for the part two. What's going on? I don't understand. He's taking L's for part two. Did it deviate from the original? <laughs> no. Well, so this is what happened, and I think he could have ended it. And the first uh, the first part, he didn't necessarily have to create a two parter, but he did anyway. Right. So the first half, the soldier that worked for the mother mother planet or, or whatever. No, well, that's I'm talking about the first half. Oh, okay. Because okay. the first half came out last year. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So the first half, um, the they uh, the army that came to that little farm planet because. They had grain, but they knew that the army was going to kill them, so they covered their they covered their houses with the grain so they wouldn't kill them. Um, long story short, she had to basically go find warriors to help defeat that specific general that was coming to said planet. Mm-hmm. But they ended up doing it in the first film, so it's like I think he should have ended it that way. But then he put a caveat where. It was like, okay, we're just gonna resurrect him using our machine, <laughs> our, our chrysalis, <laughs> our chrysalis machine, just so we can create a second half. So at the end of the first film, all the warriors that she went to collect are like, oh man, it would have been nice to die on a battlefield like this because the sunset was beautiful, the land was uh, plentiful, all that stuff like that. So they kind of just walk towards the town, and then the the, the film ends. But seeing me, I waited. I didn't wait, watch part one and then wait for part two. Right. I, I I literally you waited for both. Jumped in. I immediately jumped into the next to part two, and and then they're like just chilling, and they're like, "Oh, thank you for coming to our village. Here's a tapestry. You're like the wolf, a warrior. You're like the sun. You're like the mountain. All this other stuff like that." And then the ship just randomly come. The, they they're like, "Oh, seven days till the ship comes because he's not dead." And I'm like, "This is ridiculous. That's dumb." It's ridiculous. That I'm like, makes the whole first movie exhausting. It's, it's it's what well, this is the this is what I found silly about it too because it's like you have an entire empire that has destroyed and conquered countless planets, yet you're telling me a couple of farmers that have never fought before is the best chance that you have with a couple warriors, a couple warriors against like, a general, against a, a general trained and army. trained army, and they're. <laughs> whooping their asses all because <laughs> all be, it, it's see, that's what i'm saying all because um uh you you have a couple of general like titus was part of was part of it he was a great um soldier in the in the mother army right. but he left because uh he, they gave him an order he said no i'm not gonna follow through with that order so they he made they made him watch um they made him watch as they blew up his entire uh, f- um, army, uh, his his army that followed him. Right. Because he's like, they were just following orders. Let them go. I'll give myself up. You can take my life. They took him, but then they made him watch 
as they blew up his uh his, his whole his whole people right. his, his squadron basically so they ended up exiling him and keeping him alive so he can rent so he can re- live with that oh i got my people killed because killed, i surrender right. so he's like i'm never going to surrender again Jeez. so he was kind of the tactician that taught him how to dig add the uh, the um grenades uh taught them how to shoot and i'm like this is all being done in seven days you telling me they became expert killers in seven days against not just people but machines that they were dropping all because you had a couple of guys that already knew how to fight that's bullfucking shit <laughs> that's why i call it bullshit <laughs> and that's the second that's the second half so the second half is literally just defending oh, defending the their village and the farmland from the army from getting the grain and they end up destroying the entire village anyway and then the movie ends no, 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 and then of course they they make it to the ship, they take down the ship. They blow up the ship. Yes, and they the blow ship. up the ship. They're yep. supposed to blow up. Yep, exactly. Blow up the thing. Yes. <laughs> remember, That's how the movie. remember, Zack Snyder loves explosions. Remember, he loves explosions. So oh the, so man, the, how do we know the movie's over when you blow up the thing? Yes. <laughs> and then and then and in the end of the movie, which is which was fucking weird, they're like. The end of the movie, which was weird, they're like, oh, you thought you killed the princess, but you didn't because oh she's made out of magical light. I'm, I'm like, bro, how do you? But, and what then, kind of imaginary bullshit is this? This is what Titus was well, telling. Why shit's immune to So her. listen, so listen, this is what Titus was telling was telling the main character that, uh, oh, yeah, you thought you killed her, but she, she's not um human like all of us she's this special Some thing weird and it's like okay oh did it but now when they said that was that a new concept they just introduced they, yes if, if if the second one it so but <laughs> this man's trying to world build after he fucking flopped what yeah what? well that's the thing if it if it was successful then he left the cliffhanger for the next film. Nah. But if it wasn't successful, then it's like, all right, we're going to end it there. So he ended it. He didn't even put an end credit or he's like, end, he didn't even put end of part two. He just ended it. It said written, produced and directed by Zack Snyder, blah, blah, blah. But he left a cliffhanger slash non cliffhanger by saying, oh, you thought you killed her, but she's still alive. And then Titus just ends it like that. But we have to find her. Well, how the fuck do you know she's still alive? What does that mean? You weren't uh, even, you weren't even oh, there. Geez. You weren't even there when I'm she dead. shot when she shot uh, when she shot the princess. So what are you talking about? You're saying she's alive, but you don't know where she is. But you know she's alive. How? Tell me. But we have to find her. Where did he do that? I know she's alive, but I don't know where she is. Does that make sense? Oh man! It's fucking crazy. Only bro. only Zack Snyder knows. But what well, there ain't gonna be another movie because the second one's trash. That's because again, like I said, he could have ended it with the first one. Even if he made it two hours and forty five minutes, he could have taken that ent- entire concept and just ended it. Maybe they'll make a spin off series. They're not gonna make a spin from the world of what's, the, make what's the universe? Is the Snyderverse? No, no, the universe is where this thing is set in. I don't know. I don't know. What's the name of the movie? Well, didn't they, didn't they say didn't the year say twenty five? Like prime example, the Dune would be the Dunaverse, Jeff. Oh, the Dunaverse, the Rebelverse. I don't know. No, that's no. The Rebel Mooniverse. No. The Mooniverse. The Mooniverse. The Mooniverse. We'll call it that. You what? Is this the universe where Moonfall? Actually the, don't, don't say. Don't talk about that movie. Rule number one of Moonfall. We don't talk about Moonfall. We don't talk about the mm-hmm. fucking Moonfall. What? Moonfall civilization. Moonfall. No, no, we don't talk about that. And the <laughs> no, yeah, but the, other than that, yeah, um, the first half was very good because it had a concept. I get it. You're a warrior. You were the best of the best. You left of the best of the best of the best. Sir. Yeah, you left. You created a small life for you where you never thought you'd be able to have love or anything like that. You created connections and all that stuff like that. And then they're threatening your peace. So I understand finding warriors to defend it. But you defeated the bad guy at the beginning. But instead of letting him be dead, you're like, oh, let's create a loophole. Put him in that chrysalis and bring him back. So every he fell off a mountain. 
She broke his bones. She did all that stuff so to him. So no one stays dead. No, basically no. So then what the- This f- is Dragon Ball Z. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is Dragon Ball Z, guys. That's dumb. Dragon Ball Z with lasers. So the there's no point. So the bad guy gets resurrected. He, oh, the good guy gets yeah, resurrected. Yeah, basically. Everyone gets resurrected. Yeah. What the fuck? No, the good guy didn't get resurrected. This no. was the bad guy. Because remember, so the bad guy can... They're the Empire. Or the... Man. The least better Man. version of the Empire. That's L's. And the way they gas it up, talking about, oh, yeah, this this was this would have been a great that, Star Wars movie. That's why I always wait to watch a film. Even right. though a lot of people will say a film is bad, I will still watch it and give you my critique on it and the perspective of it. Just so I can say, okay, I see why they say this is bad, but I will still buy the movie because I liked it. Like, again, with the, the same thing with Godzilla x Kong, the same thing with uh, Godzilla versus Kong. It's it, it, Everyone, the critics were saying it was bad, but then the audience were giving it 80 and 90%. So it's like, okay, the experience of the moviegoer is what I will pay attention to. And if the moviegoer says it's shit, I will still watch it. Still watch it. You see what I'm saying? Just so I can see. Okay, I see where they're coming from when they say that. This is what but you won't co- watch it in theaters. No, you watch it or yeah. on demand. On demand. <laughs> I wait for it on demand. If it gets a bad rep, yeah, I wait for it on demand. Mm-mm. That's the thing. I will wait. And for then it. if you like it on demand, you'll buy the DVD. I'll buy the. the yep. Well, what I will do. This is what I do. The way. No, no. Hold on. This is how I am. This is this is weird. It's weird. Because remember, I only buy movies once a year. And when I buy it once a year, wait, what? No, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I only buy movies once a year. And when I buy movies once a year, it literally is on Black Friday. So what I'll do is I will watch a plethora of movies, whether it be horror, comedy, uh, um, all that stuff like that. And then I will write it, I'll write it down in my notes. Then I'll purchase all the movies on Black Friday. Gotcha. And that's once a year. That is my splurge once a year because I've seen them. So now it's now part of the collection. I gotcha. What were you about to say? No. Uh-uh. Okay. Because you, you, right. you look back. You said, you said what I thought you were going to say. Okay. Yeah yeah. 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 So I will literally, and then, so I'll literally decipher what movie's good and what movie's not good and all that stuff like that. So it's like, uh, if a movie's good, I'll buy it. Like same thing with the Marvels. Right. I didn't. I people right. were saying it was bad. I wanted to experience it for myself. I watched it, and it was trash. The first, <laughs> the first, the first uh, Captain Marvel movie in my eyes was better. I didn't buy the movie because it was still shitting on men. But at the same time, when I compare the first to the second, I would rather watch the first one again to the second one. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Yeah, so that that so again, I get it. They're trying to make it part. I think that was just an additive. It was never supposed to be part of the 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 Infinity Saga. It's mm-hmm. just something they added just to, so, to a cash cow so they can get people to buy. What part two? No, part one. Oh, uh, Captain Marvel. Yes, that's why I didn't buy it. Because because the only thing it did was the only thing that Captain Marvel explained was it how, connected Guardians to Earth. No, it just told us how Nick Fury got the scratch on his eye. Oh, really? That was it. The movie was about a scratch? Yeah. Oh, how did Nick Fury get a scratch on his eye? There you go. He got Wait. scratched by an alien cat. Dude, what did she do in the movie? Who did she fight in the movie? The Supreme Intelligence, which they changed that to. What the hell was that? It's what tells the Kree what to do. Was it a cloud? It's like an AI. Was it a cloud? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't a cloud <laughs> monster. <laughs> it wasn't. No, it wasn't. They can't do that again and again and again, Jeff. Come on, man. Come on, man. They do too you many know, clouds. Dog, that was their go-to in the early 2000s. Oh, yeah. 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 Green Lantern. That Come was on. their go-to cloud monsters, yeah. bro. Galactus, cloud monster. Yeah. Green Lantern, cloud monster. What is it? We're being lazy. Oh, We're going to do clouds. Oh, what was the other one? The day the Earth stood still, cloud monster. Well, nanites that nanites look like clouds. that look like clouds. Moonfall is a cloud monster. Yep, clouded yep. robots. Yep. That's crazy. Everything's a cloud monster. No, but yeah. So in that sense, so that's that's how I am. 
but literally um you'll never see me get anything nerdy all year long i will literally wait for black friday on that specific month to get either Funko Pops or films or anything like that just to add to my collection. Because at the end of the day, yes, everything is digital, but there's some people that still have PlayStations, Xboxes, DVD players, Blu-ray players. They're like, oh, I can't find this on demand. So let me watch. Let me see. They'll be like, hey, Jeff, do you got this film? I'll be like, yes, I do. And then I'll let them borrow. Like, perfect example. Um, Chucky, the, the, the movies. Chucky. The the movie it's right there. You Do you want to play? It's a giant Chucky. Oh, the thickest the, the box. Thickies. The thicky. Thickest box in this mouth. You're not putting it on camera. All right, there you go. So no, like the Chucky films. Um, perfect example. Like you can't find them anywhere online because you know what's going on, right? They're literally playing the TV show that they came out with three years ago. So uh, all that's popping up on all the online demands and stuff like that is the dig- is the is the TV show. So you got season one, two, and three of Child's Play or Chucky. So what I have an associate at work, Sam. She loves Chucky, but she can't. She's never seen it. Really? She she's like, oh, I want to watch him, but I've never wa- I've never seen it. I said, you're cool with old films because she was giving giving gripe about old films, and she's like. That's one movie I would watch. I said, well, I have the Blu-ray. She's like, I don't have a Blu-ray player, but my roommates do, and they're going to put it in the the living room. I'm like, all right, that's fine. I can let you borrow it. She's like, oh, I'll just watch it online. I said, it's nowhere online. Right. Unless you're going to wait till Halloween. Right, for them to license it out to all these. Uh, Yeah. Was it Paramount? Right, I think so. <coughs> so when Paramount decides. So. Because remember, Paramount will only release certain films on certain months like Halloween, I have all three films. That's genius. You, you know everything's gonna be licensed. Yeah. So it's like now you can watch it whenever you Why want. do I have to wait a certain month to watch a certain film when right. I can watch like Christmas. Right. I can watch a Christmas movie. Right now. Instead of right trying now. to trying to look for it. Like yeah, you can go on Disney Plus and, and look for all these all these films, but at the same time, they're out of rotation. Exactly. Until so the season mm-hmm. goes through. That's like or twenty five days till Christmas on ABC Family, right. stuff like that. So, right. Um, but th- that's that's kind of the only thing I would do. But uh, uh, again, like I will watch a film and and if it's good, I'll wait till that month and then I'll purchase it Nobody. and then add it to the collection. So, but it's just amazing. Like every time we have an interview with somebody, the first thing they do is they just look at the wall. They got the wall. They look the at movies. every, not, they don't even look at the, behind them. They look at this because they want to see what I have, what I've watched, what I've seen, what I, what I can potentially watch. It gives them ideas, all, all that stuff like that. All. So it's, it's, it's like stuff like that. But um, no, but other than that, that was literally just my Saturday, man. I was just get, like I said, I don't really go out unless we have an event or something like that. But when I'm home, I literally just catch up on films. Oh yeah, Kaz is having a listening party. Listening party on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. That's gonna be fire. Looking yeah. To that. Uh, one of my coworkers, uh, DeAndre, he's gonna be there. Damn, we need to get um. What do you call it? We really need to get like business cards. Really? Yeah. Why don't we just do like QR codes or something? You and your QR codes, man. I don't know. In the future, bro. Why am I going to waste paper? You ain't wasting paper. They are. That's a waste of paper. With QR codes. To (laughs) waste ink. You feel me? We're going to waste paper to waste ink. They create a QR code. To give to people so they can use it one time. And throw it away. Sensational. And then we just repeat the endless vicious cycle. Yes. And I'm not a tree hugger or anything. I just feel like. You sound like a tree hugger. You tree hugger. I'm just saying. It's just. I don't know. He's a tree hugger. When I think about everything. And how it's all just. It works. Mm -hmm. That's a waste of paper. Yeah, that's true. Not because I love trees and nature. I just look at it and it's just so. Inefficient. What if you did like car stickers? Oh, just like randomly slap it on people's cars. Yeah, so people are like, <laughs> check your, because you know some people randomly check QR codes. 
Oh no, I'd put like Gorilla Glue on the fucking back of that. Oh, so they can then. Bah! You're done. Never take it off. Advertise. That's me. it. Pay me. What the heck? But um, no, that's all I got, man. Um, I know Kingdom of the Planet of Apes is coming out May 12, I believe. So I really oh, yeah. need you to catch up on these films so we can. See. I need to freaking purchase. What is the game? I keep forgetting. Stellar Blade. Stellar Blade. Is it on the? It came out two, two, three days ago. Yeah, it came out the sixth. The twenty third. Yeah. It came out the sixth. That's and, crazy. And they still haven't shown the game. Show, I think because they're still playing it. Right. You are not going to get any reviews or anything until, until uh, Angry Joe. Really, Angry Joe plays those. Type Angry of games? Joe plays everything. I believe it. Everything, so he can I give you. A, 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 I want to hear movie. Dashi play that motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> baby got the, baby got the Illuminati bull. That man crazy. <laughs> All right, man. All right, man, crazy. I'm dead. But uh, yeah, yeah. So we gotta catch you up on that before we go watch Kingdom, because I guarantee they're probably gonna have a popcorn bucket. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Oh yeah, because I only watched three. All three. First three? No, I only watched the first two. No. No, you didn't see Dawn. I watched the war. I saw Dawn. No, you didn't. Yeah, you I saw did. you saw Rise. I saw Dawn. Rise. It's uh, Rise. Oh, Rise. Then Dawn. Then Dawn. And then War. So you did see all three of them. You told me you didn't. You said you only saw the first one. War for the Planet of the Apes? It's the last one. Then I didn't see War for the Planet of the Apes. But you said you didn't see Dawn either. No, I saw Rise and Dawn. I saw Rise and Dawn. Dawn was with who? You went to theaters with me to watch a Dawn, right? No, I watched it at home when you got it on Blu-ray. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I saw I saw Rise and Dawn. And you remember what Dawn was about, right? Yes, I think so. I think so. I I, I would just rewatch all of them if I have to because it's just been so long. No, it's a it's a plethora. It's like two two hours and forty five minutes, almost three. <sighs> yeah, so one a day. But okay, man. Yeah, yeah. That's all. That's all I got, man. One a that's day. all I got. I didn't do. I didn't like. I said I didn't really do much. So. No, it's one of those days. Yeah, man. it is. It's it's very chill. It's one of I those see how days. You feel. Plus, I'm like. I think I'm like autopilot talking. <laughs> oh no, I feel that, bro. I thought oh, we were shit. done like 30 minutes ago. Oh then. yeah, really? Bam, Bam. movies. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I was like, this is what I did yesterday, and then Saturday, and then I I watched Rebel, and I'm like, bro, it's trash. Second half is trash. Um, but yeah, that's all I got, man. Anything else? Nope. All right. Solid. Guys, if you want to. Catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. You have a good night, weekend, evening, and day, and we'll see you live on Thursday. See ya! See ya, see ya, see ya, see ya. And Bruce says bye.